Getting close to game time in South Florida. It's the Nationals and Marlins next. In its second season now as a big league stadium, there's a look at spacious Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the East-leading Washington Nationals and the Miami Marlins. Hi again, folks. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you this matchup of NL Eastern Division rivals. I'm joined by Eric Karros and the newest member of our team, Steve Lyons, as we delve into our pitching matchup here in the opener. And both of these guys here making their final start before the All-Star break starts on Monday. So it's safe to say you always want to go into the break on an up note because these guys won't get another start for about a week or so. More from the guys as this one goes along, but first... Let's give you a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Washington Nationals. As the 2012 NL Manager of the Year, Davey Johnson, will line up his guys like this. And they'll be opposed by the fellow you see right there, the author of a perfect game back on Mother's Day of 2010, the left-hander Dallas Braden. Roger Bernadina makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. And the first pitch is taken for ball one as we're underway tonight in South Florida. First pitch, 7-10. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Still shirt sleeve weather tonight. 78 degrees here at game time. One one on the way. And now he drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart the bun attempt. So the leadoff man set down here in game one. And with that, let's give you a look at the Miami D. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Jason Worth will get his first shot here. Couple of hits in four trips last night. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Here's the pitch. In there and he's ahead 0-2 now. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Uh, you don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. There are the numbers from the last time out, and he was pretty lucky to get that no decision, all things considered, because he was knocked out of the box pretty early. Ryan Zimmerman will stride in now as he'll enter play as the second leading hitter in the entire National League. Balls in there for strike one. Yeah. 
And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. So they get a two-out base runner here following the base hit, and that leads us to check out the league leaders in team batting average. And as of this moment, they're currently tied for second in that department. So a runner at first with two away, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. First offering on the way. Now here's the ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he is in there at third safely, so there are runners at the corners with two away. Now you could see him just basically jumping at that first pitch. He pulls it into right field for a solid base hit. Ian Desmond will stand in here, and like so many others, hitless in the shutout last night. Swinging on the first pitch here as Uf, that came back and caught the catcher flush on the mask that time. Ouch. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. And after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And wow, tough to lay off the fastball there, but it's one and two. Well, he watched that one all the way in, and it looked like he almost gave up on it. He's pretty lucky that wasn't called strike three. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. This team's got plenty of guys that can hit the ball out of the ballpark, but three straight singles will do the job as well. Wilson Ramos will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. On a big swing there at a fastball, and he really got into it high and deep to left center field. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And both runners will score. It's now a three to nothing ball game. I tell you what, anytime you get a first inning visit from your pitching coach, something ain't working out there. You know, here's what he's saying. Look, we need you to figure this out. We need some innings out of you here. Let's go. Man at second here with two away, and in steps the left-handed hitting Chad Tracy. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. Called strike at the knees, one and one. Well, there's the location you want right there. If that ball gets hit, it's going to be on the ground.
A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Fouled back. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Nationals three. The Marlins coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. A look there at the starting lineup for the host Marlins. They'll match up against a man who finished with the seventh lowest ERA in the National League last year, the changeup specialist right-hander Jordan Zimmerman. Here's a look now at the defensive alignment they'll have to contend with. Standing in is the leadoff man Michael Bourne as he'll get things started in the home half of the first. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. The pitch. Here's one hit towards the hole. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Donovan Solano will be the batter. And here's the first pitch. Low for ball one. And he watches one split the middle here, one and one. Oh, man, he must have been looking for something else. That was a curveball that had hit me written all over it, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Now the one, one. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. He'd obviously love a one, two, three here to start the first. And after a ground out and a strikeout, he's two thirds of the way there. Giancarlo Stanton will get his first opportunity here, currently leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories.
and a high strike there, 0-1. Uh, I, I think if you gave him another chance, he'd be swinging at that one. That was a great pitch to hit. Now here's the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One and two now. One ball, two strikes. It down. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. To two balls and two strikes now. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Harper is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. The Nationals lead it three to nothing. Danny Espinosa leads things off now in the top half of the second. Danny Espinosa. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. Shallow center. Into a slide. Did he trap it? No, he brings it in. What a play. Yeah, he's coming on quickly here. Let's see in show motion if he makes the play. Yep, sure enough, he got to it before it touched the ground. Nicely done. Jordan Zimmerman will get his first opportunity now. Jordan Zimmerman. First pitch on the way. And that misses ball one. Nope. And That's I was ball. about to call this a strike, but apparently not. It's 2-0. and oh. I got to think he's going to leave the bat on his shoulder again here, even 2-0. and oh. This approach hasn't been too sharp so far to lead off the inning. Now the 2-0. -oh. And little doubt about that one. That's in there, and it's 2-1. and one. Get 
And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Got him. Roger Bernardina will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Roger Bernardina. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And he's tracking that all the way across the plate, but that had too much sweep to it for him to think of swinging. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. There to get it is Roland. On to Berkman to take care of him, and the inning is over. Nationals gone in order, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Lance Berkman will stand in for the first time now, looking to keep that hot streak going as he's been hitting the ball well these past six ball games. Pitch on the way. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. swing and he just fouls this one away. And this is low ball two, two and one. hit back up the middle and the leadoff man is going to reach here he's got a base hit yeah he hit a good pitch there this thing's toward the outside part of the plate but he stays with it all the way uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit Justin Ruggiano digs in at the plate Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one.
hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. But surprisingly, no advance here. here we go. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Yep, single and then a walk to start the inning. But well, this is exactly how big innings get started. So they're set up now to maybe put up a crooked number here. Freddie Sanchez will stand in now. Still struggling to get anything going offensively. What a pitch to start the at-bat there. It's nothing in one. Ah, uh, good pitch right there. Right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Bernadina patrolling center makes the play one out. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Scott Rowland will stand in for the first time. One for three back on Wednesday. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1-0. Oh. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Oh, he took a big swing there as he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory at first. Tracy is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Rob Brantley will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. Berkman with the lead at second, now the pitch. Ball one. In there, one and one. One and one. Ball hit hard to the left side. That's in there. Base hit. A strong throw back in by Harper, and that will hold the runner at third base. Well, this latest dry spell blocked his average all the way under 240. So you'd like nothing more than to string a few of these together and get back into some kind of rhythm at the plate. 
Dallas Braden will stand in with the bases loaded and a real chance to get his guys right back in this one. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. Now here on the mound, you cannot take it easy on the pitcher here with two outs. He can still bloop one in there and drive home two, so you need to be thinking strikeout all the way. In for a strike, it's one and one. Oh, and he had a pitch to hit right there, and don't think he doesn't know it. He may not get a better one the rest of the night. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. You see right there on the graphic, these first two innings have been costly pitch-wise. He's at 35 already, and he's only through an inning and two-thirds. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. So they pick up no runs on two hits, no errors, and three left. We played two full. The Nationals are out in front here, three to nothing. Jason Worth will step in to start things for the Nationals. He'll be followed by Ryan Zimmerman waiting on deck. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer it that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. The 1-1 on its way to Worth. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Full count, three and two. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. And it looks like he'll have extra bases here to begin the third. And he's going to make it there, barely, as he's into second base with a double. Ryan Zimmerman will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Now the first pitch. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Ball 
Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Oh, and he dialed that one down and got him to swing through it. It's one and two now. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Well, just an excellent sequence on the mound that time, and we're going to run you right back through it right here on show track. Now you're going to notice as the dots come up, the trend, pretty evident. Everything's going to be down around the knees or lower. Now the more you can stay out of any guy's wheelhouse, the better off you're going to be, and it worked perfectly right here. Bryce Harper will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Circle change. Too low. Ball one. Swung on and missed. One and one. Late decision to offer at the changeup as this is bounced to third. Throw to Berkman will be in time for route number two. Ian Desmond will stand in, an RBI single in his first appearance. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. And it looks like he's rebounded pretty well from that rough inning a couple innings back. He put up a zero last time, and he's close to doing it again. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. Stanton is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. The speedy Michael Bourne will start things out when we come back. They trail in this one, three nothing. And there in fact is the speedy Mr. Bourne. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. And with his speed, you got to expect a challenge fastball right here because you don't want to run the risk of putting him on base. And Bourne will take it again, and it's 2-0 now. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Now here's the pitch. And 
this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Full count now. Three and two. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. This is sharply hit back up the middle, and the leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. And the throw in gets away from him. Luckily, the pitcher is there to back up, however, so there will be no advance. Yeah, nothing too special about a ground ball single up the middle here, but if you keep putting the ball in play like they've been doing, good things have a tendency to happen. We'll see if this gets them started. Donovan Solano will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Big hole on the right side. Here's the first pitch. And this pitch is right down the middle. Strike one. Oh, now this is hit hard to the right side, but caught out there at second base. And that'll be the first out of the inning. And remember now, you've got a guy on first base that loves to run. And if he's on the move right there, this is going to be a double play. So luckily for them, he wasn't breaking that time. So in that respect, they might have caught a break. Giancarlo Stanton will try it again. He flew out his first time. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. No move from Bourne, now the pitch. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. And Worth will settle under this one and take it for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And we'll see how they approach this at bat from Lance Berkman. Nope. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. He's set, now the pitch. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Three innings complete. It's the Nationals three, and the Marlins nothing. Back with Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian. Here is it's Wilson Ramos that gets set to lead off the Nationals half of the inning. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. And even though that is a strike, it's okay. These guys have been really patient at the plate. They've had a good game plan up there, and it's worked out for them so far. Six 
sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. Here it comes. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. Now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone, maybe even in the dirt. That's to it. two balls Ball and two. two strikes now. On the ground is short. And a wild throw there as he tried for the backhand, but it got right by him. Fortunately, the catcher is there to back things up, so there'll be no advance, but that was not at all good. I don't know if there's anything really to pinpoint about this play. It might have been one of those where he never really got a good grip on the baseball. And he winds up kind of throwing a sinker across the diamond to first base, and it skips right on by. Chad Tracy will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Let's get the out here. Here's the first offering. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Well, anybody who calls this place home will tell you this is not a home run hitting park, but it will give up its share of doubles. And this one moves runners to second and third now as they're looking to cash in. Danny Espinoza will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. From the stretch. And that misses one and one. Two and one. Ball two. This pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. Runners at second and third here, nobody out. And a full count as that misses, it's three and two now. This one misses for ball four, and now that'll load him up here with nobody out. Now the Marlins skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and that'll signal the end in this one for Dallas Braden. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Jake Odorizzi is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning.
Jordan Zimmerman will stand in against the new pitcher, and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. And obviously looking for the ground ball here as this misses low. It's 1-0. He's ready now, the pitch. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Uh, good break to that thing, and it's one and two. Now with two strikes, he can put the ground ball on the back burner and really go after the strikeout here. Now a hot shot here that will be caught behind the runner at first. And that becomes the first out of the inning. Well, here's something for you kids to remember. you got to freeze on a line drive if you're at second base. Make sure that that ball gets through before you take off and try to advance. And that's a good read there, and he's able to get back and avoid being doubled off. Roger Bernardina will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Back to the pitcher. Can they turn it? Tag applied by Brantley. He is out at the play. So they're fortunate to get the force at the plate, but they might have gotten a little greedy there by not trying to go to first, so the bases will remain loaded. Jason Worth will stand in. He's one for two so far. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. And, and this is a spot where you got a chance to put away a team early. So this becomes a very important at-bat for both teams. Now this is on the ground to second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. So the error winds up not costing him as they leave the bases loaded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Nationals three and the Marlins nothing. Justin Ruggiano will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. And a fastball close but ultimately ruled a ball at 1-0. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. One pitch is a fastball off the plate away, and it's three and one now. One thing you don't want to do is walk the leadoff guy and give the Marlins a base runner. The three one. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul.
Got him. The third strikeout for him now. Got him out front a little bit here. He winds up turning this pitch over nicely, and he gets him to swing right through it. Freddy Sanchez will try it again. He flew out his first time. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Yeah, once the sun goes down here, this place plays like a much different ballpark. Case in point right there. That ball had no carry whatsoever. Scott Rowland will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. First pitch to him. Now a swing and a ball bounced to Zimmerman at third. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Miami down in order, still down 3-0. Ryan Zimmerman will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0. and A strike, and it's 2-1. and one. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. and oh. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Roland over at third. And a wild throw there as he tried for the backhand, but it got right by him. Well, when you're making that throw across a diamond, if you don't get a lot on it, get on top of it, it's going to sink. And I think he just tried to finesse that one a bit too much, and they'll hit him with an E5. Bryce Harper will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. A runner at first with no outs here. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. 
Brantley is out of the crouch and he stays with it for route number one. Here's that swing again. This is in show motion. And mm, you'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. Ian Desmond will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. And he'll throw over to first. Runner back safely. Now here's the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. in there and it's even at one. Nope. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Yeah, just a little bit late here on the fastball, and this thing's almost by him when he makes contact. Still, he gets pretty good wood on the ball, but not enough to trouble the right fielder. Wilson Ramos will step in, one for two in the ball game. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Now the first pitch. Fastball too high and it's 1-0. And this catches the outside corner, strike one. Foul back. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. One error in the inning, but it doesn't hurt him. Home half of the fifth coming up. Washington leads this one three to nothing. Rob Brantley will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0.
Strike called, two and one. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Ready with another 2-2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Yeah, you know, sometimes as a hitter, when you get into that cycle of fouling off pitch after pitch and trying to protect, you just feel like you have to swing at everything you see. And here, he knows that out on the mound, so he just keeps going farther and farther away from the strike zone until he finally gets a swing and miss. And a pinch hitter about to be summoned from the dugout, and it's the guy who led the majors with 22 pinch hits in 2008. Greg Dobbs will get the call. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. can't come up with that one as he falls into a quick hole here 0 and 2 when a guy like this on the mound has got you down 0 and 2 that's a tough hole to climb out of And here's a pitch swung on and sent on the ground to short. Throw on to Tracy and there are two gone. Michael Bourne will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Now the pitch. And this one's too far inside, ball two. Called a strike there, two and one. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And Tracy will just take this himself, no problem, and that ends the inning. So put another zero on the board as they've been held scoreless through five. Five innings complete. Nationals on top, three to nothing. Mike Dunn will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Chad Tracy will get things started here in the top of inning number six.
up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Here's the pitch. And this is in the air now for the center fielder, Bourne. One down. And this is all about taking charge out there. That's the center fielder's ball if he can get there. So he calls everybody off and he makes the play easily. Leadoff man set down now for the second baseman, Danny Espinosa. Fastball in there for a called strike. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first in time, and the bunt attempt is foiled. Jordan Zimmerman will dig in now. He struck out and lined out in his first two at-bats. First pitch coming. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a fastball for a cold strike. It's one and one. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. One one pitch on the way. Oh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two. This is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Ball is outside and it's full now, three and two. Boy, you have got to make this guy swing the bat here on this next pitch. This is not the guy you want to lose. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Nationals lead it three to nothing. Donovan Solano will stand in to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the sixth. First pitch coming. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Fouled straight back. Oh. 
And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Now a swing and a little soft liner here. And one gone. And you just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. Make it nine in a row he's set down. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Here's the first offering. Fouled straight back. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. And they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. One out, nobody on. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. That's the 2-2 pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. And he'd been on a pretty good roll until that base hit right there. He'd set down nine in a row. So now he's going to have to remember what it's like to work out of the stretch. Lance Berkman will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And this is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's one and one. Yeah. A great sell job behind the plate, too. He sort of gently moved that glove back over an inch or two as he was catching that baseball. A look over to Stanton, and now the pitch. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. And this is swung on and missed as Berkman is set down for route number two. Boy, his guys got him the lead back in the very first inning, and he hasn't looked back since. He's had everything go his way so far, and this inning's turning out to be no exception. Justin Ruggiano will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. In there, and it's 0-1.
and that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Side two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. <laughs> Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And now, 3-2, two, two out. He'll be helped by the fact that that runner will get a head start out there. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. And this game just got a little more interesting. This is a home run. So a two-run shot to left center, number 14 on the season. And with it, the Marlins have cut it to 3-2 to two now. Well, this guy had settled in and was just cruising along until this point. Working carefree on that 3 nothing lead. But one slip here and it's going to cost him. Now all of a sudden, that lead shrinks down to just a single run. Freddy Sanchez will dig in now. Hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And now pitch on the way. And he takes strike two. Two out, nobody on. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good change up right there, down in the strike zone. Definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on, so that's a great job to lay off. Now here it comes. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Worth is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. The two in the inning for the Marlins, thanks to the two-run home run. Top of the order due up to start the seventh. It's the Nationals three and the Marlins two. Roger Bernadina will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. 
But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. And getting that first out is always critical in a one-run ball game. And they could certainly use a quick seventh inning here. Jason Worth will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now he gets on top of one and bounces a little ground ball out in front of home plate. Throw to Berkman will be in time for out number two. So two are gone now for Ryan Zimmerman. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Roland's up with it. Throw to Berkman will take care of him. And with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Scott Roland will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And a tough slider there as he grounds it foul. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. And Roldman won't offer it that one as the count moves to two and two now. Well, pitch count will become a factor here in the seventh. He's about to hit 100 for the game. On Roldan swings and misses on a good pitch that time, and he's retired for the first out. And that slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Rob Brantley will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. First pitch coming. Swing and a tapper out in front. Throw on to Tracy and there are two gone. Boy, a first pitch out is nice anytime. But when you've already thrown over 100 pitches, that's a gift. Matt Downs will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. And I take it back. It won't end the inning. He's safe at first.
Boy, and your pitcher's already over 100 pitches, and now you're making things even tougher on him thanks to an error that really should have been avoided. Now the national skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Your attention, so a new pitcher entering now, and it'll be the very hard-throwing right-hander, Henry Rodriguez. Michael Bourne will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Now he ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. <laughs> Boys. That's 99 right through him. Now a throw over to first and the runner back safely. to two balls and two strikes now. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. And now the benefit of you working the count to 3-2 is that that runner gets a head start from first with two away. Very tight ball game. 3-2 our score in inning number seven. Payoff pitch coming. And he got him. Marlins leave one. They're down 3-2. Ryan Webb will be summoned from the bullpen now, so he'll take over to start inning number eight. Bryce Harper will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. On to the eighth here as a slider is taken to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now.
Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. Now at the plate, here's where you got to put yourself in the pitcher's head and figure out what would I throw on a two and two pitch. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Visiting Nationals holding the lead here in the eighth as you get a look at our line score to this point in the game. Ian Desmond will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Lays off 1 0. Now here's the pitch. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Not very aggressive there as that's down the middle for strike one. Boy, good change of speeds there. Had him fooled, and from 2-0, and oh, it's back to two balls and two strikes. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Another 2-2 offering. Full count. 3-2. and two. Strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Yeah, that's a tough pitch there, three and two. Probably would have been ball four, but I'm not sure if I could have laid off that one either. Wilson Ramos will dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Off the plate again. Two and oh now. And I think with no one on base, you know... This is a guy you need to come after. I certainly wouldn't be afraid to give him a fastball here. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Ruggiano is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Washington leads this one 3-2. to two. Donovan Solano will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Swing and a hard liner to center field. 
and he is going to reach. It's a base hit. Around first, digging for two now. And he'll get in at second base as the time runs aboard with a leadoff double. Nice. As a young hitter, once you start figuring out how to use the entire field up there, it's going to make you a much more dangerous hitter. And he finds a gap here for a leadoff double. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And set to stand in the ultra-dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. All that. That's right on the corner, but it's 1-0. Oh. Well, now he's got to be saying, this is the wrong time for that strike zone to start shrinking. You need that to be a strike. one -oh pitch is a changeup that runs high 2-0. and oh. <laughs> Be careful not to airmail that thing over your catcher's head. You've got to make sure you don't overthrow it. Both teams with six hits so far. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats. Foul. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now, three and one. He was hoping he could get him to go up the ladder there, but that's going to set up an even more dangerous pitch here on three and one. Three one is a fastball, and he can't connect three and two. Well, this is turning into a real dogfight now. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. And in a spot like this, where you have to have a base runner, you've got to make sure you're swinging at strikes. By rights, he should be on first right now because that was ball four. Lance Berkman will have a shot at driving home that possible tying run that's standing at second. First pitch here is swung on and chopped toward the right side of the infield. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. That's just a textbook case right here. By not advancing the runner on that previous at bat, that would have been a run. Instead, now you've got two outs and a runner only at third. Drew Storen will come on here looking to get the final out in the home half of inning number eight. Justin Ruggiano will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. And this is low ball one. A 2 0 now as he hits with a runner at third and two away. And with the runner at third, two away, I think they're just being awfully careful right now. Two runs, six hits, 
And two errors thus far on the Miami line score. Now a sinker falls in there for a called strike, two and one. Well, I think the time for patience is over. You've got to make something happen up there when you've got a runner in scoring position. A 2-1 offering. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Yeah. They went to the slider there on three and two, and that's a pitch where you're really hoping a hitter will see fastball and swing through it. But it didn't work out that time. He winds up losing him. Freddie Sunshine will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First pitch on the way. In there, 0 and 1. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Ramos is there to make the catch and a great job of pitching as they strand the potential tying run at third. Nice job there by the Washington bullpen. We played eight full. It's the Nationals 3 and the Marlins 2. Evan Reed come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Chad Tracy get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And this is on the ground but foul past Berkman over at first. Too high. One and two. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend. Here it comes. Hmm, maybe a 50-50 call here, but this is ruled to be inside. It's two and two. Hmm. That's definitely a borderline pitch there on one and two. Now, I don't think he could have had any argument at the plate if that was called strike three. Swing and a liner. Foul. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two.
Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And now a ball hit fairly well here out to the deep part of left field. And the leadoff man retired here to kick off the ninth. There you see, seven, eight, and nine due up in the bottom half of the ninth, so they'll certainly have their work cut out for them as they try to get back in this one. Danny Espinoza will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Now the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Up with it is Sanchez. Throw to Berkman will be in time for out number two. Will Rhymes will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Down low, two balls and a strike. Pitch on the way. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Grounded foul. I got the high fastball there, and he popped it straight up, way up there on the infield. Sanchez has got it, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Nationals fail to add on here in the ninth. Last chance coming up now for Miami. They trail it here 3-2. Your attention, please. Ninth inning save opportunity now as they'll turn this one over to the closer, Rafael Soriano. Scott Rowland will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. This is 
sharply hit back up the middle. And the leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. Well, these guys have been high on efforts, but low on results so far. They're still stuck on two runs, but at least they've got a leadoff base runner here to start this inning. Rob Brantley will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Throw goes to first here, so it works just as they drew it up, and now the possible tying run is in scoring position at second. Yeah, the third baseman's playing a little too far back to have much of a shot at this ball so that's a good job of the pitcher getting off the mound to make that play see plants his back foot makes a good strong throw to first for the out Ryan Peterson will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw on to first to be in time, and the Marlins are now down to their final out of the game. Well, it wasn't exactly the finest swing in the world, but at least the net result of it was that it moves the tying run from second over to third. So it wasn't a total loss. Sean Rodriguez will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Michael Bourne will get a chance to tie this thing up here as that equalizer is just 90 feet away. Now here's the first pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Well, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Off the plate at 94, 1 and 2. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. And he will make the catch to wrap this one up. And the Nationals have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, and you know, he's proving to be more than adequate in this closer's role. Soriano comes on to get the final three outs and pick up the save. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score.
Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he needed just a little help to get out of that seventh inning, but all in all, that's six and two-thirds very strong innings for him on the mound. So that'll about wrap things up here tonight. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our hard-working crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB 13, the show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. Washington is victorious in this one, 3-2. Good night from Miami.